Hey everyone. So while I was while I'm trying to finish up my bar chart for Free Code Camp, um, here it is down here. I was I'm in the middle of creating the tooltip, and as you can see, I have it kind of working. If I hover over the bars right now, it gives me a little bubble with my name inside of it. Um, I think the thing that is being asked by Free Code Camp is to display the GDP that each bar should be representing. But as I was reading the D3 docs, it states uh, I wasn't sure if I should use this method or not. It's called D3 mouse. So if we go over to the D3 docs and I'm going to go scroll down a little bit. Here in D3 event, in this sentence here, it says, while you can use native event page X and event page Y, it is often more convenient to transform the event position to the local coordinate system of the container that received the event using D3 mouse, D3 touch, or D3 touches. So I wasn't sure if it was uh, more convenient to use one of these three functions, specifically D3 mouse. And so after looking at Stack Overflow for a little bit, I made this little visual here to kind of help me clear up the question I had about D3, uh, the D3 mouse method. So if we run through our code, we create a variable called SVG, and we select the body, append an SVG, give it a width of 960 and a height of 500. We also have a little bit of CSS, our background color being pink, and our margin is going to be 100 pixels from the top. So again, that's why you get this little white space here. And then we could also create a variable called rect, append a rect element to our SVG, give it a width of 100, a height of 100, and we're going to give it the x coordinate of 300. That's why it's three. That's why it's so far to 300 from the right, 300 pixels from the right. And then we're using the on method. Now let's read about the on method here in the docs. Uh, I believe it's up here. Yeah, on. So we're going to give it the type name, uh, which is a string event type, such as click, mouse over, or submit. In this case, we used mouse move. So anytime our mouse moves on whatever element uh, we call it, we're using our event handler on. Uh, it'll, it should display something. Then we're calling a, a listener called mouse move, and mouse move is going to be a function that's down here. And we're going to, in that function, we're going to console.log our method d3 mouse, with, which is the method that I had a question on, and we're going to pass it in with this, with this value. Okay. Or the this keyword, I mean. Okay, so remember we have this SVG that's 100 pixels down so our if it wasn't for this D3 mouse method our Y coordinate at the very top of this rect element should be 100 pixels but because we're using D3 mouse it's actually gonna give us the coordinate based on the uh, container that it's in so because this little black rectangle is at the very top of our parent element, this SVG container, it's actually going to display a Y coordinate of 0 because it's at the very top. And this can be displayed if we, if we look, take a look at the console. As you can see, we have all these arrays that are showing because we've already hovered over our rect element a few times. We're going to clear it. And again, we're going to try and see if we can click on the very top of our element right here. So like our x coordinate is 365 and our y value is 2. So that's pretty close to 0. So as you can see, it's actually reading the y coordinate relative to the parent container that it's in. So that is why D3 mouse would be more convenient to use than the native uh, page X or page Y, which will just read um, based on where you're at on the on your web page. Using this method, D3 mouse, 
it'll read the it'll give you the coordinates based on the container that it's in which can be very very useful so I just wanted to share that with you guys if in case you get confused on why you would you would use one of these three methods that that states that it states down here in our case though because it's well at least in my case I should say um, it's pretty much based on it doesn't necessarily need to be the x and y coordinates don't necessarily need to be uh, compared to the container I don't have a an ad that I want to pop up in that container or anything else like that um, I could just use the native event page x and event page y to give me the current position of the x and y coordinate so that is about it thank you for watching